Hello everyone and welcome to my morning report chart appraisals on Monday the 2nd of October with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Handset Markets. We've got a, uh, a market that's very much dollar strength today. Um, dollar strength is coming through as Treasury yields are sharply higher. Let me show you how the Treasury yields have moved in the last couple of days. Um, the 10 year higher, the 2 year higher and importantly the twos tend spread higher. Um, now that's coming as um, reports came out over the weekend that uh, the uh, President Trump and uh, Steve Mnuchin held talks with uh, Kevin Walsh um, who is a uh, a uh, former Fed governor actually and he could be possibly in line to take over from uh, Jeanette Yellen as chair of the, F uh, of the FOMC and he is a hawk and subsequently um, yields are higher on the, the back of that um, and that that uh, increase in yields has sort of pushed the dollar higher today uh, dollar strength across the board on the major currencies um, euro sterling yen all weaker against the dollar now the euro and sterling uh, are also uh, hit by other factors as well. The uh, Catalonian um, referendum at the weekend that uh, certainly has not played out well with investors um, who saw all the images of uh, riot police dragging people around, hitting people with batons and stuff. So that's uh, not really played out especially well for the euro today. Uh, let me just show you a couple of charts. You've got the uh, Spanish yields which are higher um, as the core periphery spread in Europe has sort of widened um, about eight basis points higher uh, on the t on the Spanish ten year, whilst the German ten year has actually fallen back. Uh, why has that come through? Is that sorry? German ten ET equals R oh, oh, bang. Um, whilst the Span uh, whilst the German ten year has, has fallen back. Now that is um, hit on the euro. As you can see, this um, Bund Treasury yield spread chart, which uh, has a big play. In on euro dollar is really factoring in now falling to levels not seen since June on that yield spread and that is going to be acting as a drag force to the downside on euro dollar and uh, that certainly seems to be playing out that way today so uh, not only that we've got um, equity markets which are supported by these weaker currencies the euro weakness helping the DAX and also FTSE 100 helping uh, helped by sterling weakness, sterling weakness coming as the uh, UK PMI disappointed, the manufacturing PMI disappointed for the UK uh, coming in at 55.9. Not a huge disappointment, but still nonetheless a disappointment. So um, we're going to be looking out towards the ISM data today, the manufacturing PMI for the US, 58.0. Um, just mildly down for 58.8 last time out, but that would still be a pretty positive number nonetheless. And that's pretty much the only data point today. Now my chart today is the Aussie. Aussie. Aussie dollar has come under pressure in recent weeks as the uh, the dollar has started to strengthen again and it seems to be that this key support this key August lower 80 sorry 7804 um, 7804 7805 is coming under pressure and uh, it got tested a couple of times last week again being tested today it has broken on an intraday basis but still hanging on by it a fingernail and uh, it really is coming under pressure and um, a closing breakout to the downside you'd say would complete a top pattern but it um, would more importantly I think start to form a, um, a corrective move the last time we saw a little bit of a top pattern completed it was back in uh, sort of March April time when the markets um, certainly went quite considerably lower by about 180 ticks so there is the prospect, I think, of a, of a topping out now and a corrective move. You can see all these old highs from uh, late 2016, early 2017 coming in as support. Now that is a key level around 77.50 clearly um, and a decisive move below that would certainly put the corrective pressure on. But you look at the momentum indicators, they are corrective as well. MACD line is going negative, stochastics confirming negative and and RSI also mid 30s that's at the level that we've not seen since May so it's and that was when the rally started so it certainly looks as though this market is turning corrective and uh, little rallies are being sold into um, strength is a chance to sell 7860 uh, was that sort of resistance that we saw just before Friday and um, certainly that seems to be a, a level that the market will be sort of looking at, I think, near term uh, as these ho li lower highs and lower lows get formed. So um, intraday um, strength on the uh, 
on a rebound would be sold into I think 60 seems to be a level at which the RSI is failing at now around neutral on the MACD lines doesn't look especially great um, certainly looks uh, as though if we get a closing breakdown below 78.05 then uh, we're going to be sort of completing that pattern so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later thank you